So I just want to show you guys this. This is pretty cool. Uh, these just came in today. I'm going to be getting quite a few of them because uh, it's a pretty legit. Save a lot of time. No joke. And if you're a beginner, uh, let me pull one of these out of the bag real quick just so I can show you without it all hooked up. So here it is. It's a pre-pinned Naze 32 board. And they cut down on so much time. You've got uh, these pins here on the side. These uh, for your ESCs and motors here. And then uh, I haven't had to use these yet, so I don't know what those are for exactly. Uh, and then this, this connector piece right here comes with this big piece that has, uh, this is for your PPM here, and if you want to hook up a different style uh, receiver, it's got all these extra wires and stuff right here. So, that's pretty cool. And that just plugs in right on the side like that. Isn't that cool? PPM's up here at the top. Uh, you can see your direction there. And you can just put it on your board and start connecting stuff to it. Uh, I went back to the QAV 180 because I had to replace the board. Check out how easy this this was. Like it was a real quick fix. I want to I want to keep getting these only because it'll be the easiest fix if something happens to the board. And since I keep having shit happen to the board, these are just so much easier because you can pop the connection, pop the connections, and then I could literally pop this board right off because nothing is soldered to it or connected to it. I took a uh, the ESC wires that were on the other ESCs that just came in, and I put them on these ESCs since the other, since these ESCs were um, on the board. You can see the old board here, the Spectrum board. This is actually a better board, uh, but I don't know what I did to it. But you may be wondering because this is the board. Well, one of these boards is going to go on the Martian Two, and you may be wondering, well. Then what are you going to do for ESCs since you just stole the, the Maker Fire ESCs? Uh, I actually ordered a bunch of ESC cords, spare ESC cords. And it's literally just the cords. It's got this connection here, and then it goes off and they're all twisted up like this, and they go off into the end with no ESC on the end. So, really kind of not worth it unless you buy in bulk, because uh, with the shipping and stuff like that from the, the ESC cords that I found that were actually like worth getting, uh, it was pretty much the price of these OC days. Like, four cords were like the price of just going out buying four OC days, basically. So, I bought a, I, I bought a bunch of cords, just so I could have bulk. Like I said in yesterday's video, I'm buying bulk. And we're going to be building the crap out of these things. But I just wanted to show you guys that that's really cool. It's an Ace 32 that's pre-pinned. So, any of you beginners that want to get into this and you're just scared of soldering and stuff, man, that's awesome. And if I hadn't already cut the motors that are going on the Martian, uh, if I wouldn't have cut them and put them on here first, uh, they would have still had long cords. Uh, two of the motors that I'm going to be using still have long cords that are going to go on the Martian. So I'm going to just show you guys how to uh, connect the ESC wires that originally come off of here to the motors and just kind of twist them up and do what, what you know whatever you want because it's a lot easier to uh, solder the wires, wires together and put a heat shrink over it instead of uh, soldering to the board, to the ESC itself. It's a lot easier to do that. In fact, it's really, really easy. So all you would really have to do is solder that. Uh, and then your ES and then your PDB board, you'd have to solder your PDB board. But the PDB boards are so big, and the spots where everything plugs in is so big, it's real easy. And as long as you take your time, it, it's you can do a bad job, and it's still going to work. So... Uh, the main thing that you worry about is a flight control board because everything is so tiny on the flight control board You've got to be kind of uh, precision soldering with it and Sometimes you can mess up and get it all over the place. So this one's pre-pinned. It's really cool And they're not that expensive. I think this is a an $18 board and As soon as it came in I plugged it into clean flight. It said on the thing that it only It only runs beta flight and so I hooked it up to Clean Flight to see if it would upgrade the firmware on Clean Flight, and it did. So it's it's running perfectly. PPM hooked up. It took me a while to figure it out. Uh, usually on PPM you you hook up PPM, and then in Clean Flight you go to IBUS. Uh, I had to do XBUS 
PPM and then S Xbox. I had to mess around with it. There's a few other things that I had to do. And so if if you decide to go with this, and I'll leave a link to these these uh, boards here. If you decide to go with this and go with the fr uh, Fly Sky receiver and transmitter and things like that, I can I can show you guys how to hook that up. That wouldn't that wouldn't be too hard. It's it's actually now that I I'm done with it. It took me about an hour to figure it out because I was messing around with stuff. I was like, there's no way I I, I shouldn't have to do this or this or this. Uh, plus I had to I reset my my Fly Sky transmitter, and I'm gonna be doing a video on that because this has got a lot of stuff that you need to do to set up in it uh, to make sure that you can fly your drone a lot of setup stuff so uh, and you need to make sure that you you get all that stuff done so you can set your your um, switch A and B up here uh, for your arm well to arm it and things like that so uh, there's all sorts of stuff to do with that so I'm gonna be doing since I did the build videos for this I'm going to also do a, a Fly Sky video to show you guys how to hook that up. And pretty much anything that comes from Fly Sky hooks up the same way from what I've been, what, from what I've been told. So I'm pretty happy about that, that board. I am. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it, actually. And remember before, I put, I put the pins in myself, and I did a really good job. In fact, I looked at these pins, and they're not done as good as the pins that I did. Uh, but these OCDs wouldn't work in the pins. They only worked directly soldered to the board which was weird and I had heard and seen some videos of some ESC's and and somebody said that these OCDs are pretty touchy and there are uh, sometimes you have to to uh, take these OCDs and put them directly into the board and so I did and, and, it, and they worked fine directly into the board they didn't work when they were on the pins and now they're working good on these pins so I don't know what the deal was. I don't know what the deal was with the other pins. I came uh, this way with it. In fact, let me get out my other. If I can find it, I get, uh, this is all madness over here. That's the one thing that I don't like about this is this is a QAV180, and I'm going to be putting a FPV camera in it once that new FPV camera comes in, because the other FPV camera that I had in it. It's going to go in the Martian. So, uh, in order to save room, see all these motors uh, hang out all the way over here. The pins go to about halfway into this uh, connection here. And so, you see these two little dots here. That's where the back of the camera goes. So, it doesn't really leave you very much room. And so, on this one, I put the pins inward. And I don't know why this board wouldn't work. I wish this board worked. It was a pretty cool board, and it had these little, these real easy connections here on the side uh, for your PPM and everything. Uh, I might try to mess around with this now that I've gotten it off and, and see if I can get something to work with it. This is a pretty good way to do it for QAV 180 or smaller build because it goes towards the inside. What I don't like is this thing sticking out, but I think we're going to be fine. I haven't really looked at this, so... I'll do it with you guys. Let's see if I can find a. Let's go the right. Yep. Ooh, that misses it. It's pretty close. Cutting it close, but it misses it. That's gonna be good. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna slap the uh, the props on here, and we're gonna take this baby for a flight.